We are in Yogyakarta! What started off as a city tour soon turned into a crazy, colourful and somewhat random night full of festivities along Mulliboro Street. We sing and dance to live street music. It's just such a vibe! Hang out with the locals. The people here are just so friendly. Shop for batik shirts. How does that work as a set? <laughs> Get a massage from a guy with the biggest smile. Ah! It's such a happy night. Love Indonesia. <laughs> I love Indonesia too. We are so excited to explore today. We're just headed now to meet our friend Mohammed, who's going to take us around the city. Can't wait. All right, let's go meet him. Hi. <laughs> We're currently driving down Malioboro Street and it is a really cute street. There are trees on either side and there are so many horse carriages that you can ride in, so many shops. So we're going to explore it a bit later when it becomes a walking street after 6 o'clock. We have just arrived at Tamansari. It is so beautiful here. It was actually built for the Sultanate of Jogjakarta, a place where he could relax, meditate, and just hang out in the gardens. There are a number of ponds with fountains, and it is so beautiful. Something that's really interesting is that the architecture here is actually Indo-Portuguese style. You can see that with the use of color and also the beautiful archways. Okay, so we are just walking to a spa room. So this is where the Sultanate would get massages, different treatments, and just, I guess, have a spa day. As you can see, they used to burn things under here to make it hot in this room. From this room, you get a beautiful view of the fountains. We just went up a very narrow staircase up to the third level, and there's not a whole lot here. It's really a very, very small room, but there's some beautiful views over the lakes and the fountains. There's windows on each wall, which is creating a lovely breeze. beautiful place to visit. I can really see why the Sultanate would have loved this place. I could imagine hanging out near these fountains. A nice place to escape the hustle and bustle of the city outside. Definitely worth a visit. Let's introduce my friend Muhammad. So I've had the honour of knowing Muhammad since 2011 I think. 11, so, yeah. yeah, so we worked together in Brisbane in Australia for about four years. So sure. good to have you with us today. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Just outside Tamansari was an amazing band playing music. We were greeted by some friendly locals wanting to practice their English. This was just the beginning of what was to come. We are now headed to a local boutique art gallery. Just one problem, we seem to be a little bit lost. We don't really know where we're going. I'm gonna go ask this girl for directions. Hi, just wondering, can I have some directions to the boutique art gallery? Uh, aku tidak bisa bahasa Inggris. Let's try that again. Hello, pesaka kau kasih aga untuk ke boutique gallery? Boleh. Kamu tinggal lurus habis ke kanan. Mm, terima kasih. Selamat tinggal. Dah, bahasa Indonesia kamu bagus. Mondi has helped me out in so many tricky situations like this. And guess what? They are having an incredible New Year sale, offering a huge 96% discount for lifetime access to all languages. That is a deal you don't want to miss. Check out the link below. With over 110 million users, Monly is one of the top five language learning apps worldwide, and it covers 41 foreign languages. And the best part, real conversations. Thanks to Monly's chatbot with speech recognition, you get real-time feedback to improve your pronunciation, all without needing a human teacher. Plus, you can learn a foreign language while doing other activities, like cooking, working out, and shopping. And did I mention the practical content? Mondly focuses on lessons you can actually use in your everyday life and of course while traveling. Join me on this language learning journey. Check out the Mondly app today through the link below. Let's make every trip a successful adventure. We're going to look at some of the traditional Indonesian artworks, so specifically the batik paintings. So the batik is from the meaning is the line and dot. We call it malam or biwek, yeah. And then we need to boil, small to make a dot, 
this one and medium to make a line then after we do drawing with a pencil then coloring So apparently this restaurant is managed by the palace. It's a really nice restaurant. I really like the atmosphere in here and it has like a little courtyard in the middle. So what's the most Indonesian dish you can think of, Mohammed? Nasi goreng. Nasi goreng? What, what can I say? Yeah. And rendang maybe. Rendang, rendang. yeah, okay. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the chicken! It's so tender. I think the chicken was marinated in coconut milk, so it's giving a really good flavour. Mm. Almost just like there's a bit of cinnamon in um, the rice. It tastes really, really good. So I'm having a beef dang dang, which is a little bit different to a beef rang dang apparently. This beef here is dried as opposed to cooked in the sauce, so let's see what it tastes like. Mmm, very, very flavourful. Bit of a sweetness to it, but very tasty. I like it. So we have just arrived here at Mullibar Street. It's certainly all happening. They haven't blocked off the street yet, but that can't be too long until they do that. Really looking forward to going around and exploring all the shops and seeing what this place has to offer. People have asked me for photos and I'm literally getting a sore mouth from smiling so much because they are all just so cute. Uh, we want to practice our English with Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. How do you know this place? Well, um, so we have a friend here and yeah, my dad's friend, so we came here to a visit and just see the place. But what about uh, Bali? You know Bali? Yeah, we Have went. Been... We went to Bali um, uh, two days ago. We were in Bali for uh, ten days. Oh, yeah. that's amazing! Yeah. Actually, where are you from? Uh, Australia. Uh, Australia. Oh, Australia. Yeah. My dad's from Denmark, and my mom's from Australia. Miss Ayu, I am from Sorong. Hi, and nice to meet you. My name is Kylie. Kylie. Kylie, yes. Where are you from? I'm from Australia. Oh, Australia. Yeah. By the way, it's your first time to. to it is our first time to Georgia. Yeah, How first Georgia? time. How it is so nice. We really like it. Yeah. <laughs> How long will you stay in here? Uh, for four nights. Four nights. Yes. Yes. Nine. yes, four nights, and then we go to Bandung. Oh. Thank you. I want to take a picture. Yeah, of course. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. So nice to meet you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Do it! <laughs> really nice experience trying to talk to some of the locals and I guess good chance for them to learn how to speak some English. The people are just so gorgeous and they are not afraid to come up and practice their English. Lots of them actually had questions written down so that they could ask you and like practice their English. It's so cute. This is certainly a colorful street. It's getting really, really busy here and the sun hasn't even set yet. We've just entered the market off the main street and it is really busy. I can see mostly women's clothes. There are some men's clothes in between. Not really much for men, so we're still on the hunt. What are we looking for, Caspar? We're looking for a batik shirt for me. So, not really sure what kind of suits me in terms of batik shirts. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a bit of a challenge to cross the road right now. It's getting pretty busy. It's good we're with a local. Okay, not too bad, a little bit stressful, but we made it. We learned today that batik actually means many dots. So if you look at these shirts here, you can in fact see lots and lots of dots on them. They have a lot here, so surely we can find something. <laughs> you can get a matching batik tie. Ooh, yes, to go with my shirt. <laughs> I'll think about that one for all your batik shirt needs. It's almost a bit overwhelming. It's like color overload here. <laughs> Maybe we need to do a batik haul. I'm not sure about that one either. How about this one? 
Or we could go really colorful. What about this one? It does look a bit like egg and tomato sauce. <laughs> Here we go. What about this one? That looks pretty exotic, doesn't it? <laughs> Traditional or contemporary? Do we have a winner? Not sure. Well, there's a lot of choice here, so maybe drop it in the comments and tell me which one you like the best. Very overwhelming. Let's hold on to this one for now, but let's check out the other aisle. So this one is a little bit more traditional than this one here? Yes. Okay. Maybe we should go this one here. I don't mind this one, actually. Do you need some fatigue boxer shorts? Hmm. I don't know. Do I? <laughs> Um, oh, I thought for a moment there was a split. <laughs> if it had been a split, it could have been handy for going to the toilet, I guess. <laughs> Certainly colorful. How does that work as a set? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this on. Okay, so what do you think? Marleborough Street has certainly come alive now that they've closed the road. They closed the road at 6 o'clock so no cars or scooters can enter and it turns the whole place into one big walking street. Okay, so we just passed a sign and one of the signs says not to fart. We're trying to decipher what all these rules are. I'm not sure how they're controlling that and if they're giving out fines and how they would even do that. That's the, a first. They might have the sniffer police out and about. <laughs> you would need to. Like, how else do you control that? <laughs> We're just coming across the road because we can see some entertainment happening over here. It looks like they're doing some sort of cultural performance, so let's go and have a look. And it looks like there is this massive mask and it's got a line on it and then this massive mane. A little bit confused about what's happening right now. Looks like they're just standing while some drums are playing, but it looks very interesting and it's very colorful, the costumes. We've just entered a huge market hall. It's pretty busy in here. It's not very easy to walk. I can see handbags. T-shirts. Oh my god, this place is massive. To you put your phone in. Yeah, that's nice. Sorry, how much? Yeah, Twenty-five thousand. Yeah. Twenty-five thousand. Okay, so that's only two dollars fifty Australian. Look, I can't even haggle for that. Very reasonably priced. Uh, yeah. Okay, this one. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. There's all these small side streets just filled with markets as well. There are so many great options for shopping here. They have markets, they even have small shopping centers along the main street, and they have the shops along the main street too. The people here are just so friendly. They keep coming up to us and wanting to get to know us and take photos with us, and they're just so cute. I've never met friendlier people ever. They're so nice. We have currently popped into one of the malls to check it out and they have so many nice shops and so many little stores on the ground floor. So just looking at some pants right now. Oh my god, they're so nice. Uh, my dad keeps saying that we don't have room in the suitcase, so he keeps saying, okay, so you're going to have to wear double layers of pants, triple layers of jumpers and everything to make sure that we have enough space in our suitcase. But these are really nice and a good price too, only $12. Thank you. Terry Makasi, thank you. <laughs> I love the word you're welcome in Indonesian, sama sama, it just sounds so cute. <laughs> so I knew the lyrics because the song is really catchy. <laughs> I actually feel like I'm crying right now. It is just so wholesome. <laughs> it was so beautiful. I was so happy and just dancing together. I love Indonesia. <laughs> I love Indonesia too. Come to Indonesia. Visit Indonesia. It is the best. It's so fun. <laughs> Let's go explore the next thing. I cannot believe I just danced in public and got up out of the crowd and started dancing. And I get so embarrassed. So uh, don't judge my dancing when you see the video. Yes. If you want to see more of Ella dancing, make sure that you drop it in the comments. Oh, this again. Stop. <laughs> can I just say how much of a vibe this place is? They oh, even yeah. have a haunted house. Yeah. yeah and we can hear people screaming their lungs out. And you can see all the reactions on the CCTV of people coming out from the haunted house and just looking so frightened. 
Yeah, this place is actually so cool. There's just so much to look at and everyone just looks so happy. Random people here having massages on the side of the street. Massage, yeah, looks so good. Get in there, get in there. Yeah. You look so enthusiastic. All right, I'm just gonna tell him I'm coming back. Hang on. I'm coming back. Just a little bit of shopping and then I come back. Okay, okay, all right, all right. I've reserved a spot. <laughs> There's this cute little old guy dancing and he's the only one dancing up there. That is literally the definition of dance like nobody's watching. <laughs> as soon as we entered this place, I could just smell so much food. I can smell satay skewers, all sorts of meat and durian. So many different smells. So we are gonna go explore the market right now. Hello. What are you selling here? <laughs> Fried chicken, yeah, yeah. pigeon. Oh, pigeon. They're actually selling a pigeon here, which I did not expect. Looks like we have arrived at, once again, another market. So I guess let's go explore another market. This market is actually located in more of a modern building. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I do want a cute bucket hat, but can we fit it in the suitcase? <laughs> Yes, no. I'm going to have to wear that on the plane. <laughs> so this market, a lot like the other markets, is selling kind of similar things like batik clothing, handbags and all sorts of other souvenirs as well. But this one has very high ceilings and actually has three levels, so we'll have to go explore each level. If you are looking for a shopping holiday, I can definitely recommend Jogjakarta yes. because it has some serious shopping opportunities here. The shopping is fantastic and the prices are great. And the quality actually seems really, really good. It's getting pretty late and everything is just still like vibing. Every, still I, rocking I, on. I don't know how many times I've said the word vibing tonight, but it literally truly explains what's going on here. Everyone's vibing. Oh, they're dancing again. Everyone's still cracking on at the moment. Having a great time. Everyone's having a great time. It's just such a vibe. It really is. And the music is so catchy. Everyone just looks so genuinely happy. We haven't stopped smiling tonight. I don't think I've ever smiled so much in my life. It's just it's such a happy night. Also, something really random happened. We got gifted uh, three bags of seaweed. All right, uh, I think it's time to go and get my massage. Yeah. Woo! So excited. From walking around the markets all day, I need this. Australia. Oh, Australia. Yeah, yeah. Kaguru, yeah. kaguru. <laughs> How long? Uh, we're just here for four days. Yeah. yeah. Good, yeah. Ah! Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, 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 he's hit a knot. Ow, definitely hit a knot. Yeah, there's a knot there. Maybe I thought I would be having this at a spa. Maybe not on the street. <laughs> Maybe not the most tranquil environment with a horse right next to me. There's a horse just there. <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> oh my gosh, you have such strong hands. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
my gosh. Oh. Ah. Ouch. Definitely a deep tissue massage. Okay, I feel like okay. it's a deep bone massage. Oh. 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 <laughs> I think I'm going to be bruised after this. Oh, wow. Sorry about the ugly faces, but I can't help it. He's using up so much of his energy. Only this? Thank you. Okay, okay. Thank you. Oh, no, no, good. Terima kasih. I'm going to have serious bruises all down the back. How long have you been doing this here? Many years doing this massage. Uh, one, one year. One year massage. Yeah, yeah. Terima kasih. Okay. Terima kasih. Okay. <laughs> thank you thank so you, much. You. He has the yeah. best smile. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you so thank you. much. Okay. Thank you. Terima kasih. <laughs> I'm like vlogging, like, I'm all loose now. Loose. Loose. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. seaweed we were trying to get away from so we might have just kind of left it on a bench hoping someone else would take it but uh it's come back to us <laughs> it's like a magnet boomerang <laughs> so that didn't work to leave that on the park bench you don't know what to do with well, it we didn't want to throw it in the bin so then we thought if we leave it maybe on the park bench somebody be like oh seaweed yeah. and then they, we thought they might take it vlogging challenge ella yep. i think you should go up to total strangers and offer them some seaweed. Challenge accepted? Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted! All right. Do you want some seaweed? No, no, okay. Okay, okay next okay. person, go and ask. Oh God, go, this is go. really embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said yes to anything. What is this? It's uh, seaweed. seaweed. We got given it, but- Mama Suka, we can't we eat. We can't eat, so yeah. You want some? No. No? Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Do you want um, seaweed? We can't eat. No? Okay. No. <laughs> Do you guys want seaweed? No? Okay. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe I'm going up to random people asking if they want seaweed. <laughs> oh, we're never going to get rid of the seaweed. What are we going to do? One thing I will say about Indonesians is that they have the biggest, brightest smiles. It's the most beautiful smile. Like, I just want to smile at everyone so then I can see their smile back. They have the most beautiful smile ever. It really lights up the world yeah. and it really lights up my heart. It just melts oh. me. It really does. That was cringy. <laughs> a little oh, bit. Oh, you're crying now. That could be like on a Hallmark card. It's so emotional. <laughs> I did not expect Georgia to be such a vibe. I really wasn't sure what to expect, but today has just been an absolute surprise. This is certainly a night I'm going to remember for a long, long time. Okay, well, thank you very much. No worries. It's great to see you again. Yeah. Thanks for taking us around. Yeah. <laughs> we hope that you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see our next adventures. Okay, that's it for this video. We'll see you next time on Living, Living the, the Joe Life. Life.